Prošen dej te te gjithet, ani jemi live. Hello everyone, now we are live. Kjo është një mësimi i gjuës Shqipe, this is a lesson of the Albanian language. Unë që em Elson, jam nga Shqipria, dhe unë dojë mësoj Shqip ju dhe sot, dhe të klasim për gramatikën, gjithmon, për rasat, këtu të unë dhe Lenson, kalim dhe i të një për një. Ok, we will start with the introduction. Kemi Kirin, përshëndetje Kirin, nga je dhe pëse dëshëron të mëso Shqip? Përshëndetje, unë quhem Kirin, unë jam nga Amerika, në Montana. Nga, nga for both of them, nga Amerika, nga Montana. Nga for both of them, ok, nga Montana. For the Brazilian time. No, stop. Okay, go ahead. And I want to learn Albanian because my best friend's a crazy Albanian and there's just no stopping him. So I figured I might have to learn his one. Yeah. Okay, that's that's great. I'm sure you'll not you'll not forget next time to say nga uh, in both of them. We have here we have here Kitty. Përshëndetje Kitty. See ya. Përshëndetje. You know the drill. Go ahead. Unë që jam Kiti, jam nga Hungaria, dhe duhet të mësoj Shqipë, sepse tani banoj në Shqipëri. Shumë mirë, në durës apo jo? Në durës, po. Në durës, shumë mirë, okej. Kemi këtu Lenson, ni hao Lenson, ni hao ma. Ni hao, o hën hao, shë shë ni. Okej. Okay. <laughs> like, should, should I continue in Albanian? Or? Yes, please. Yes, please. Okay. No, përshëndetje, Chukhem Lanson, unë janë nga Tajvani, unë janë një zet shtat vjeq, unë duat të mëse Shqip, sepse me përloqen Shqipëria, dhe unë duat u thëtoj pësër Shqipëria. Okay, can you please do the same uh, in Chinese? Can you say the same in Chinese? Okay. Uh, yes, yes. Hello, my name is Lanson. I'm from Taiwan. I'm 27 years old. I want to learn Albanian because I like Albanian. I want to go to Albanian. Are you now, Goran? I'm a Taiwan person. Okay. <laughs> Mir, we have here Maria Isabel. Hola, como esta Puerto Rico hoy? I have muted you because I told you earlier to mute yourself. You didn't do it. That's okay. Go ahead. Përshëndetje, unë jam Maria Isabel. Unë jam nga Puerto Rico. Me përshën shqip. Okay. Në espanyol, verdad? Okay, okay, go ahead. Mi nombre es Maria Isabel. Soy de Puerto Rico y me gusta el albanés. Ok, shumë mirë. Dhe kemi Anna Taylor, përshëndetje. Please unmute yourself. Përshëndetje, përshëndetje të gjithë. Unë jam Anna Taylor, jam anglese, por jam nga një ishu li vogo, afë për Fransë. Ani po jetoj në vlorë, në Shqipëri. Në Shqipëri, po. Êshtu që duhet të mësoj Shqipë, gjuhen Shqipë, që është të që mund të komunikoj më mirë. Më mirë, shumë mirë. Si e ka emin ishuli? Gjërzi. Gjërzi? Që hëtë gjërzi. Jo një gjërzi, që originali. Originali, ok. Interesante. Shumë mirë. Ok, so for all the viewers from YouTube, we have some space here. You are welcome to join. Go to learnalbanonline.net and go to live lessons. The link I will be sharing with you now, you can download that in the description box of the video. Let's see, in order not to, miss, not to miss the future lessons, you can click subscribe. Today, we'll, please, if you have not watched the previous lessons, do that one first and then watch this one, because otherwise it will not make sense. Today, we'll talk about, the, we'll talk about pronouns. This is the fourth lesson. I have organized, uh, talked about the pronouns. And in particular, we'll talk today about the dative case of pronouns, demonstra uh, demonstratives, how they change in, in dative, Possessive pronouns, interrogative pronouns, etc. Um, and then at the end, we'll do also some exercises. You already know what a pronoun is. We are on slide number two. Uh, 
in the previous lesson about the dative case, two lessons ago, actually, we talked already about the subject pronouns. That was the very first lesson of this in this year, and also the very first lesson related to the dative case. So that was the topic we already talked about, the subject pronouns. I will just summarize them in one slide today as well. Um, but we'll talk more about the monstrative pronouns, what are those and what is their dative case and how we use them. Possessive pronouns, again, the same thing there. And the last one, interrogative pronouns. These are the four classifications for the pronouns. There are other ones, but these are the most important ones. If during the lesson you have any questions, please feel free to interrupt me and ask me your questions. Let's go to slide number three. You already know this one. We have talked about it um, in the last two lessons as well. So subject pronouns, um, here they are in nominative, I, you, he, she, will, they, unti, ai, ayo, ne, you, ata, ato. In accusative, here is how they change. We also learned how to use this in accusative. Mua, ma, tu, te, ata, e. Ne, na, you, you, ata, i, ato, i. What about in dative uh, case, lenson? What were those, those in dative? We talked about them in the previous lesson. Okay, uh, mua, mua, is the same. Tu, te, the same. also the same. Huh? And I think uh, it's uh, e atai and e asai. Ati, e atai, e. Ati, e asai. And then. Nevena. Correct. You were you. Correct. And the last one? Last one is ature e. No, ature u. Ature u. Yes. So once again, we mentioned that in accusative and in dative, um, we have two pronouns one that is a strong pronoun, mua, and one that is weak, ma. Okay, um, we also learned how to use this last time. So nothing new about the usage of all these pronouns today, just a review, nothing else about dative case, just how to build the pronouns in general in dative. And then I'll write uh, also some sentences. Let's see, Kitty, can you make a sentence using any of these pronouns? The same for all the other ones. Think of a sentence that we can uh, build using uh, muama or tutor etc remember how to use the dative and you can simply build a sentence like this go ahead kitty muama pelchen juha shipe so we need a dative there why is the verb to like muama pelchen juha shipe the thing that you like that is always nominative that's the subject of the sentence juha shipe that's nominative uh let's go to kiri <clears throat> Muama Pelchen te uda toy perna shippery. Shumir Muama Pelchen to toy shippery. Since we used Pelchen once, let's use another verb. Here I don't know. know What's another usage of the dative? What were those special um, pieces? Okay. You have to say. Other... Uh huh. Um, ma vien zor shippery shum catch. I'm ashamed my Albanian is so bad. Okay, okay. so Mavien Zorch, Shipia Ime, Ashum Ketch, or Shipia Ime, Ashum I'm ashamed that my Albanian is, is bad. Okay, grammatically it's very correct. Let's go to the next one, another verb, another construction, but still in dative. Um, Anna Taylor? Buri uh him, -huh. for his So, not buri him, because that's the subject, to him. So we need the dative of buri him. What was the, the dative of buri? How do we build the dative of nouns? If it's a masculine noun, always with t at the end. If it's feminine, with s. So, burit. Burit. Okay. Now we have not we have not heard the possessives in date yet, but it is team. We'll see them in the in two slides. It is team no longer in. Buritim po i them bin kambat. Okay. You understand it? Okay. Burit team po i them kambat. Why dative is the verb to hurt? Kambat those what hurts that's nominative, and buritim that is the dative. Why dative is the verb to hurt? Okay, let's see. Len Lenson? Mm -hmm. 
Muanuk me kutoihem. Muanuk me again? Kutoihem. Uh, I didn't understand it. Uh, like I, I don't remember it. Something like this. Ah, muanuk me kuitohet. Kuitohet. Nuk me kuitohet. Yes, nuk me kuitohet. I don't remember about it. That's correct. Uh, uh, Maria Isabel, unmute yourself. I had to mute you again. Go ahead. Um, muame pelchem Chipria. Now another verb. We already use Chipria. We have we have already used pelchen. I have mentioned. Okay, the same thing. Uh, I, I have mentioned many usages of the dative case. Ayo, po, i, bergon, ati, me letter. This construction, this is the most used one. She is sending him a letter. So, to whom? To him. Po, i, bergon, ati, me letter. Memorize also, to all of you, not Maya Isabel only, memorize also this type of verb. The verb to like also, it does use the verb to hurt. But also to send something to someone, to say something to someone, uh, to write, etc., etc. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. So that's about the dative of this uh, pronoun. Subject pronouns, or um, they have another name I can't remember. A personal pronoun. Here it is. Let's go now to demonstratives. Demonstrative pronouns are pronouns that are used uh, to indicate the location bet between a speaker, speaker, and another noun. So in English, these are this, these, that, those, etc. Here they are in nominative. We have talked about these and how to use them 100 years ago. So in, in singular, it is kukyo, ktakto, this masculine, this feminine, this masculine, this feminine. And uh, in accusative, we mentioned that this kukyo changes only to one form, kt, kt, pronunciation, kt. And we also have learned previously how to use uh, that one. You can check the previous videos. And in plural remains the same. Notice plural nominative, plural accusative, that's the same. Now, how they change in dative. Now, this is a new information. <laughs> really, el, el son is gone. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Come back. <laughs> I can't hear you. Okay. Let's see. One moment. One moment. I'll go start screening again. Okay. Here we are. So I was saying that in accusative, plural remains the same. Now, this is new information for you, how, it, how they are in dative case. Let's write them first, how we build them, and then some sentences. There is nothing new about the usage again. Just like we use, just like we build the previous sentences, just like we use those pronouns, we also use in the same way these types of pronouns. Kti, masculine, ksai, feminine, or pronunciation, kti, ksai, or just Ksai. And in plural, kture, the same kture. So that means this in singular masculine, this singular feminine, this plural masculine, this plural feminine. More like to this, to this. I send a letter to these people, to this person, etc. Again, kti, ksai, kture, kture. Let's go now. To the next ones, aya uh, yo atato, that means either he, she, and they, but also means that and those. Here is how they change in accusative, atato, the same, atato, those, that's how they change. Now, what about in dative? They are the same as the personal pronouns, what we just talked about in the previous lesson. So, ati, asai, uh, in the previous slide, ati, asai, ature, ature. That means, ati means to that person, masculine, to that person, feminine, to those people, to those people, etc. Okay, um, let's build some sentences now using these. I will write some first, and then you can think of a sentence on your own. 
Again, the usage is the same. Just memorize those verbs that we have mentioned before, those specific constructions. That's how we use all these. Um, OK, so if you remember, in the, in the previous lesson, we talked about the dative of nouns, OK? Now, so, um, demonstrative pronouns this and these normally follow indefinite after, just like in English, this car, not this, the car. Now, let's take the noun vice. What was dative of vice? Dative indefinite. We need indefinite here. For all of these, we need indefinite. So what is indefinite of vice? In dative, it is vice. So xai. Why xai? Because I need feminine singular. So that one there, xai vise, ipercentul stoi. The translation this girl likes traveling. Xai vise, ipercentul stoi. Here's another sentence. Kti viali poizem shum coca. This boy has a headache. That's how you translate it in English. But in Albanian, it's just literally it's a bit complicated to translate. So to this boy, the head is hurting. That's how we would say it word by word in Albanian. Again, we need the dative of dial. What's the dative of dial from the previous lesson again? It changes to diali. So kti diali poizem coca. Why kti? Because now it's masculine, singular. Why dative? It's a verb to hurt, them, pelche to hurt, uh, to like. Here we also have always the weak forms. I mentioned them in the previous lesson. There are no dative sentences without the weak form. So, ktidiali poidem coca. That's the weak form in blue. What's the strong form? It is replaced by ktidiali now and ksai vise. Pronouns, they replace each other. The same nouns, they replace pronouns, etc. Okay, we have some viewers from YouTube. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to join, go to here we have the link, learnaldayonline.net and then to live classes. Anna Taylor, do you have any questions? No. Uh, I have a question related to uh, word order in the sentence. Yes, uh, yummy. Is it possible to put uh, like the, uh, the, the nouns in, in dative further in the sentence? Yes. So such constructions um, are the, the, or, the word order in a sentence is flexible. So uh, this is a typical um, order. So you would start with xai vise pelchentul toy like that. However, you can see also other forms. For example, ipelchen xai vise tos toy. Ipelchen again here xai uh, vise tos toy. Grammatically correct is also if you put xai vise at the very end of the sentence, but that's very rare. Either here or after the verb. One more thing, since it's a statement. Um, xai vise, you will see it at the very beginning, but if it's a question, you will see it only here after the verb. So does this girl like traveling? It would be like this, just with an I at the beginning. I pelchen xai vise tostoi. Does this girl like traveling? If it's a question, the um, xai vise, the dative strong pronoun, must come after the verb. But if it is a statement, then either after the verb or before the weak form and the beginning of the sentence. OK, thank you very much for having yeah. uh, What was your welcome? I forgot it in Chinese. Uh, OK, yes, of course. Mir, um, yak, um, sim. Now, we have not talked about plural of nouns, but since we are mentioning here the these these people etc i will write a noun in plural this will not make much sense now uh because we have not learned how to build nouns in plural uh here is an example um the noun student it's plural we have not learned how to build that one but the um, construction the usage you understand it i what is yap same yap means to teach literally to give lessons to teach so, u, u is a strong, is a weak form, u, them, to them. I'm giving lessons to them. So, in this case, to these students. In the previous ones was e. Why e? Because we had one boy, one girl, singular. Now there are many students, you go back to u. We are talking, go back to slide number three. We are taking this u at the very bottom uh, in the dative pronouns. 
mirror. So uh, Yapan seem to teach Umpo, Yapan seem to your student. I am teaching these students. Un, um, let's see, un po u letzoi një liber këtyre fëmijeve. I'm reading a book uh, to these children. I'm reading them a book. Po u letzoi një liber këtyre fëmijeve, etc. Okay, Anna Taylor, can you think of a sentence, how to use an example? Do you have an example there? <laughs> no. Um, yeah, okay. Sorry. You, we mentioned earlier how to use the dative in the previous lesson as well. We just, I, I just wrote some sentences here with the verb to like, to herd, to give something to someone, to send something. So keep in mind these verbs, to send something to someone, to give it as a gift or to confess something, etc., etc. So use any of those verbs in a sentence. Okay. Un po u de uh -huh. boy. Uh -huh. uh, Ni message. Okay. Kature. Uh near is ve. Okay. Shum ye umpo uder go in message. Ture. We need plural. Near ve. Just at the moment when you use the u pronoun, you must use something in plural at the end. So as long as you if you put an u there, you need something in plural. I am sending a message to these people. I'm sending these people a message. That's how that's how you would say it in English. In Albanian, the translation for the dative pronouns here in, in demonstratives is to this, to that, to these, to the, to this masculine, to this feminine. So I'm sending a message to these people. That's word by word. Something in singular. Again, if you don't memorize how to build the dative of nouns, uh, just keep in mind, if it's a feminine noun, we need you must put an A at the end. If it's masculine, you must put a T at the end. So... Um, I'm talking about this one, kti, ksai. Can you make a sentence, Anna Taylor, using kti or ksai? Uh, Do you remember the constructions, for example, um, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, I want to sleep. Those require also dative. Or I'm sorry, I'm glad, do you mind? Um, I'm feeling dizzy. All those are also require dative. Uh, catch. Okay. If you say Mavien catch, you already use the dative there. So. Ah. Uh. Uh. diali Mavien catch. This boy is sorry. I vien catch. Diali I vien catch. This boy feels sorry or is sorry. This boy minds it also. He minds it. Another translation. Okay, let's just review quickly for two minutes. Go everyone to slide number seven. This was the usage of the dative. We have them again there. So number one was with the verb to like. Slide number eight with the verb to hurt. Slide number nine, these constructions. Mavien mir, I'm glad. Mavien ketch, I'm sorry. Advien ketch, do you mind? Mavien inat, um, I feel either I'm jealous about it or... Um, I feel angry about it. Mavien inat. Mavien zor. I'm ashamed. Mavien pert I feel like I'm going to throw up. Mavien pert duarsh. It's handy. So I can do this. It's handy. Mavien sikur. I feel like. Mavien rotul. My head is spinning around. Mavien dermand. I remember about it. All these dative. So drop that muama at the beginning and put any other pronoun that we have just learned in the dative. Slide number 10, these constructions follow also dative. So these verbs, letzoi, to read something, pergijem, ndoth, to happen, shioi, to taste something, kuitohem, shurbei, tregoi. Slide number 11, some other verbs, shkruai, koshiloi, dergoi, mesoi, flas, etc. Slide number 12, these other constructions follow the dative. Mahaet, I'm hungry. Merihet, I just want to stay. Mepihet, I want to drink. Mefliet, I want to sleep. Meduhet, I need it. Whenever we eat it again, I need it. So instead of this m, 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 put uh, one of the pronouns that we have just learned, nothing else. I want now some very good sentences from you. Let's start with Lenson. Okay, I will try this one. Un dua te i shkrai kati burit nia letter. Sepse ai ësht mësues im. Im nia, okay. Un dua te i shkrai nia letter ti. Burit, uh, comma, sepse, ai, ersht, mia. You said a good teacher or a good person? Uh, uh, my, like my, uh, my teacher. M Masues im, tak? Masues okay. Im. 
So then, okay, search near search must see him because he's my teacher. Okay, must see him. Check out the check out the sentence again. There is something not correct. <laughs> One moment. Okay. Uh huh. What did I say? After t, after this, that, those, always indefinite, not the definite. Ah, oh, always indefinite. Indefinite. After so, this boy, not this the boy. This man, not this the man. Okay. So, so you so drop buri, it. Not buri. Yeah, exactly. T buri. Otherwise, drop the t, the demonstrative, and use burit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, one more thing. We have not talked about this before. In Albanian, we, we have a subjunctive mood here, right? Lenton? Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, it's very common. We have not talked about this. This is new. Um, subjunctive mood is very often uh, used with the weak pronouns. The weak pronoun there is E. Now, something happens when you mix that T of the subjunctive plus that E. It creates this new word, T with apostrophe. You'll never see it like that, but with the T. Just the spelling. Pronunciation, because we speak that fast, you don't really see it, but the spelling is important. So T plus E, T of subjunctive plus the E form creates T. Und du atish kuai, mi letter kti buri, sepse aish muswisim, it's perfectly correct. And can, I, uh, can I put kti uh, buri in, uh, in front of near letter? Not really. Yes, of course, yep. So und du atish kuai, kti buri, mi letter, that is very, very correct. Okay. The letter is accusative. That's the thing that the object, that's the thing you are writing. Mm -hmm. Mir, uh, so T, uh, since we are about that one, if if you mix T uh, plus the U, then you get two, like this. Okay, let's go to um, Maria Isabel. Where are you? Okay, you're there. Uh, can you think of a sentence? I have muted you again. Please uh, mute yourself uh, okay. because there are in the background. Go ahead. Can you read? Can you make a sentence? Um, okay. Um, uh, uh, I. Uh huh. The chain. No. The I. No. I they're gone. Okay. I they're gone. Uh, mi letra. Okay. Um. Um. Vice. Uh, como le como puede uh, how I see mi letra to her. Uh, oh, what, is to her? what is to her? Okay, so first of all, we need a weak form, i.e. E. They're going I... the letter asai, asai by z, that girl, asai by z. I, he is sending, if you want to say, i.e. poi they're going the letter asai by z. He is sending a letter to that girl, to her. Okay? Okay. Uh, uh, Kitty. I cannot hear you. Please unmute yourself. Okay. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. Kasai vaize po i shion ushchimi. Perfect. Kasai vaize. Are you eating now? Kasai vaize po i shion ushchimi. That's all right. This girl is enjoying the food. Is tasting, enjoying. Is this girl finds the food delicious, etc. Shio is the verb to taste. Okay, any questions? I'll take that as a no. Let's go to number five. Possessive pronouns. This is literally one of the most difficult topics in Albanian just because uh, they're very regular. They are affected by gender, number, case. They are very, very regular. Um, in nominative, im, ime, ut, yote, iti, eti, isai, esai. These are all in singular, by the way. So the noun that they are possessing is in singular. If it was in plural, that's something totally different. So im, it, ime, ut, yote, iti, eti, isai, un, yon, ui, and then your et, ture. That was in nominative. 
in accusative tim time tund tunde et tsi linking article always a i have mentioned it in the previous lesson why ton only one form to y a to again article only y only a now uh, let's go to the dated pronouns we have here tim sime tund sate careful here now either ters t or ters one moment one moment sai i'll explain in a few moments what is that then we have ton son to i suai either t or s uh ture uh with you one moment ture okay Possessive pronouns are pronouns that indicate possession. They are typically found at the end of the sentence or clause, uh, etc., etc. So, um, in nominative, you already know how to use it, also in accusative. I will write now some sentences in the dative case. We wrote some earlier here. Uh, these pronouns uh, must be used with um, another noun, of course. They are, they are not found alone. So, always we need a noun plus this. That's the position. Uh, not like the pronoun and then the noun, like in English. Not like my book. In Albanian, it's backwards. Book and then my. The same for every single one of them. That's what they have in common. So, noun plus tim. So, we need a noun in dative now. Again, we are back in the usages of the dative case. I will write a sentence here. To think of your own sentence. Again, nothing new about the usage. You can perfectly build a sentence also right now. One moment, just find the noun, a construction in the dative, and put that noun with my, his, hers, etc. Let me write a sentence here. Okay. We mentioned one of the constructions that follow dative is this one, if the emperor will. So weak form is e here because I'm talking in the third person, him, her. Uh, and this construct, this sentence means. I feel I'm going to throw up. My son feels like he's going to throw up. Or my son is about to throw up. That's that would be the same sentence in Albanian. So take every pretty much every single dative sentence that we have created so far. You can perfectly remove that possessive pronoun and the sentence still makes sense. If you can add a possessive pronoun to the sentences that you have written so far, with a noun, of course, you need a noun to use this, um, and you get the use, you get this pronoun here. So, dialit tim ivien vl. Here's another sentence. Um, Vizes, what is the pronoun? Si me. Or I'll change, let's go to Vizes son. Our girl, Vizes son. Nuk i pelchen matzet. Our daughter does not like cats. By the son, our daughter. You have probably noticed something. Notice that uh, in feminine, they always have a s, 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 si, me, sate, s, si, son, sure, and s, ture. That's just a pattern. It doesn't mean anything. It's just a pattern that they have s, s, s at the end. Uh, let's see uh, another sentence. Un po i shkruaj mje letter, I don't know, let's say shoches, shoches sësaj. I'm writing a letter to her, to her female friend. Un po i shkruaj një letter shoches sësaj. Okay? Let's see the sentences that we wrote earlier. Um, Okay, so I want to write a letter. Lenson said earlier, So now we'll drop the kti, of course, because that was another type of pronoun. Now I'll copy the same sentence so we can write it in the next slide. Just pick any of the sentences you already created. A sentence that is dative and it has a noun. We need a noun to use this. One second. Okay, so I'll remove kti. Now we need burit with a t back and then. I'm writing a letter to a sentence, I don't know, to her husband, maybe, Burit Sai, just a random sentence, because he's my teacher. The rest is perfectly correct. Burit Sai, where are we? In the here and Sai here. So, to is for masculine 
and sus for family, for both of them. Aí eu ponho Ergoni letter as I vice. She is sending a letter to that girl. So we remove the demonstrative. We don't need it here. Why? We are using the possessive now. So put advises. So one more thing I did not mention earlier with possessive pronouns, you always need the definite form of the noun every time. Uh, I put Ergoni letter vices. Vices. Sate, he, she, he is sending a letter to your daughter. Vise, sate, we are here. Sai, vise, poisiono shimi. Vise, sime, my daughter is enjoying the food. Vise, sime, poisiono shimi. You cannot use a demonstrative and a possessive at the same time for the same noun. Okay, let's see. Lanson, do you have a sentence? Uh, yep. Mm, uh, okay, I will try this one. Jismon Munti Besoy Shokut Tim. Jismon Munti Besoy, yes. Besoy, yes. One moment, uh, I'll write it here. So, Jismon Mund. Now we, we need a, a subjunctive term because it's him, we need that T again. Munti Besoy Shokut Team. Perfectly correct, Jumir. I can always trust my friend. Jismon Munti Besoy Shokutim. The noun, the pronoun is optional here. The subject, un Jismon, you can either put it there or after Jismon, that's fine. I always trust my friend. The dative is Shokut Tim. Mir. Uh, Anna? Motras Sime Ipilchen Shum Chocolate. Chen. Now, the, the noun that she likes, so the noun that is used with the verb to like, that must be definite nominative. The chocolate. In English, you say, uh, I like chocolate, but in Albanian, we say, I like the chocolate. So we use the definite. It's very rarely, it's grammatically correct, perfectly correct to use the indefinite form, but we use the definite more often. One more thing, mo tres sime. Ipel chen, chocolata. Or she likes eating chocolate, people chen, the high chocolate or plural chocolata. You understand it? Motras sime. That's the definite in the dative. Motras sime. My sister likes eating chocolates. Motras sime, people chen, the high chocolata. Uh, Kitty? Burit tasai idam coca. Shumir. Burit sai. Is them coca. Her husband's head is hurting. That is correct. Buritsai is them coca. With a ball, it's hurting right now. Here, uh, Maria Isabel, unmute yourself. Tell me a sentence. Um, let me see. Huh? Pick a verb, pick a construction. I told you already how to use the dative. <laughs> Um, 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 me uh, me team. This is correct, but me follows always accusative. So we need dative here. This sentence is perfectly correct. It's just not what I'm looking for. This is date. This is accusative. I'm going to. I want to go to the cinema with my friend. After with, we always use the accusative. Notice how we use the dative in the following slides. Those constructions use some of those verbs that we have learned before to send something, to give something, to write something, to tell something. All those verbs, those are the ones to like, to hurt. Those are the ones that follow dative. Okay. So? Um. Mm. How do you say, my sister is sorry? <sighs> Motra, 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 
Not motra ime. So mua m vien catch. This is the basic construction. Mua m vien catch. I am sorry. Now replace mua m with her. So with uh, my sister. We need date. Esai. Esai. No. Why esai? That means her sister. You are saying my sister. Okay. Motra time. Why time? Dative sime. Sime. All right, so again, the same sentence that as Anne, Anna wrote uh, earlier. Motras sime. And then, Ivienkech, my sister is sorry. Or another translation, my sister minds it. Does she mind it? Yes, she minds it. Motras sime, Ivienkech. Okay. Here, let's go. Do you have any other questions? Anyone? Kitty, did you write your sentence? You told me, I think, or no? Oh, yes. Buritsai them coca. Yeah. Mir, do you have other ones here? Okay, you read them all. Mir, let's go. Uh, Anna Taylor, do you have questions? Please ask me anything. Okay, I'll take it as a no. Let's go to slide in your judge. Kto jan preimrat pyotas? These are the interrogative pronouns. These are pronouns that are used to ask questions. So, oh, one more thing. I forgot to mention something in the slide number four. Slide number four, everyone, please. Uh, I mentioned only those at the top. So, kukyok, tak, tok, 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 tik, sai. What about those at the bottom? Those are far from you. That, those. Ayayo, that person. At, again, that person. Asai, to that person. Near. I go back to slide number six. Uh, demonstratives are pronouns that are used to ask questions. So, in nominative, we say kush, that is who. Kush. K, in uh, accusative, that is whom. And in dative, this becomes kuit, to whom, to whom, to which person, to whom you gave this book, to whom you gave it to it. So kuit, these are used again to ask questions. Uh, you can see also this not in questions as well, but typically to ask questions. Here they are in uh, dative. Um, and that one is used only for people, kush, k, and kuit. And it's used for both genders, doesn't matter the gender, doesn't matter the number. Uh, it matters only the case. So push in nominative, co in accusative, quit in dative. Now we have another interrogative pronoun that the gender doesn't matter that the gender does matter, also the number, and this one is tili, that means which. So tili, tila, tile, tila, that is in um, nominative, singular, masculine, feminine, etc. Tilin, tilin, that changes to the dative, uh, to the accusative. We learned it in the previous lesson. And how they change in dative, I will write them uh, right now. So, silit, siles, silave, silave. This is how the word which changes into the dative. Feel it? You just have to memorize it. There is no logic behind this one, how to build this. Just memorize. That's a new word, a new form of a word you, you already knew. Um, the usage is again the same. Here's a sentence. Okay. We mentioned earlier that yatmasim means to teach. Who it po yatmasim? Whom? Which person? Whom are you teaching? To whom are you giving a lesson, word by word? To whom are you giving a lesson? Okay? So you'd use the third person. Who who are you teaching that person? Are you te uh, I'm teaching or those people I'm teaching? Kuit po yep masim un po i yep masim etc. So normally it is at the very beginning of the sentence. Kuit no uh, always at the beginning. It's a question. That's a question word we need. That's a pronoun. So you'll see it there. Kuit po yep masim. Here's another one. Um, kuit i to the joy music. Who likes listening to music? Who is the joy music? If you want to answer, right? Also, the answer in date. If it's a construction, the question is in date. Also, in your answer, who likes listening to music? I like listening to music. Who is the chant of joy music? Who is the be telephony? Now, be is a verb to fall, but if you say the phone is falling, that means the phone is ringing. Quit poi be a telephony. Whose phone is ringing? In English, that is a possessive case that is genitive case. In Albanian, this is dative. 
in English we say whose phone is ringing, but in Albanian we say whom, whom phone is ringing. That wouldn't be correct in English, but that's how it is in Albanian. Kuit poi bie telefoni. The answer mua pom bie telefoni. My phone is ringing. <coughs> One more. Kuit po i zemb coca. Whose head is hurting? Kuit po i zemb coca. Mua pom zemb coca. Okay. Any of you has any sentences ready or any questions? I have a question. Uh, I just yeah. wondering how what far uh, change uh, in uh, nominative that's yeah. it, that's it. Yeah. Uh, You said far. What was the other pronoun? Far. Like just what? Just what? No other pronoun. What does not have a case? Does not have a number? Does not have a gender? That is paradise. Doesn't. It, it's not affected by any of those. Oh okay. Yeah. Other ones. Yeah. So Chvar remains the same everywhere. Gender, number, case, that doesn't change. Mir, so uh, do you have any sentences ready, any of you? Any examples? Any of you want? Uh, Kier, uh, Kier is not here. Anna, uh, Anna Taylor, how do you say in Albanian who... Uh, to whom are you sending the, the letter? Whom are you sending the letter to in English? Whom are you sending the letter to? So, quit. Go ahead. Po. Hmm? I der gon hmm? letrat. Uh, okay. Le, mm, no, letrat is in plural. So, quit po i der gon letter. Let's letter. put it like this first. Le, letter. To whom are you sending, sending now? This is a letter. To whom are you sending now? This is a letter. I put this indefinite because something happens if you put this definite. Uh, we, we change the, um, the weak form. The definite of this one would be like this. One moment. One moment. Quit po ia dergon letran. This is something we haven't talked about before. Letter on, um, letran. Quit po other gone later. And so if the noun in accusative is the definite, then you need the weak form of the definite, which is mixed with the weak form of the dative. I'll do another lesson for this one because it's very there's a lot to talk about. Uh, try to keep the noun indefinite first. Here, quit po other gone later. Whom are we sending a letter to? If you want to put the definite, that that one be that one at the bottom. Kitty, do you have a sentence? Lanson? Uh, I want to ask, how can yeah. we say that, say, mm, to, to to which teacher are you sending a letter? Yes, yeah, you know how to say which. So how do you say that sentence? Here is which. Uh, Tzilit. Uh, OK, male teacher, perfect. So Tzilit, go ahead. What is mm, the other which, But uh, do, I, do I need a definite or indefinite here? Um, Tzilit Mosues. One moment. Uh, let's see. Just a second. Tilit mosues. Tilit mosues po. That would be indefinite. So definite would be mosues it. Uh huh. Okay. Yep. Tilit mosues po. Tilit po. Po i. Yes. Po i dergo. It's one thing. Dergo. 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 Nia letter. Chumia. Uh, it should be definite, it would be the same like this one here. Tilit mosues po ya dergon letter. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mira, can uh, I say, uh, Elton, can I say, uh, silit pyetje to pilchen mashum? Yes, but just uh, pyetje is feminine, so you'd say tsilis, ah. right? And one more thing, one more thing. Now, uh, you are using the verb to like, but the thing that you like that is nominative, so tsila. Right? What if I want so to the, say... the, the, the person who likes it, that is uh, dating, not the thing that they like. So you do want to say which question you like most, right? Yeah. Yeah. Which question yes. do you like the most? Okay. Which question you like? Okay. So now it's another thing. Question, um, the word question is uh, accusative. That's the object in our sentence. So, um, I will explain it now. Let me write the sentence. Um, okay, here's one set, one version. What question do you like most? Or, 
you his dative now you pull chen mushroom which question do you like most either the previous one or the second one they follow different grammar but it's exactly the same translation okay thank you here okay. this is this that's the object that's the object of the sentence and here it is um the subject okay okay thank you Call him it's no problem so why, why is it in the first sentence uh, you say it's in uh, accusative right it's uh, in yes. yeah now yes now the reason is um i have said earlier that the verb to like we use it mostly in direct form indefinite but grammatically it's very correct to say also un colche and then an object a noun in accusative mm -hmm. right so that is one version un colche chiprin accusative i like albania Mm -hmm. um, however, mostly it uses the indirect form, so with a dative. If you use it directly, uh, so if you say umpelche and then something, then it will be accusative object. I like something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, okay. So, the, uh, so in the second sentence, uh, questions uh, is like the word questions uh, is in nominative. Uh, yes, that is nominative. Yeah. Always the thing that you like, that's nominative. The noun that you are using, uh, that's nominative. Mm -hmm. okay. the, the dative there is you. That's the dative, the mm -hmm. weak form. Other questions? Okay, let's go to slide number seven. Now, that's all about pronouns. There were four types of them. Uh, let's just do so. Let's just practice with this. Um, slides that I've also shown in the previous lessons. So um, let's say um Vizus Sime people chen Matia my daughter likes the cat. I'm just mixing pronouns. I'm not using one specific pronoun, I'm mixing all of them. So in that sentence I use possessive. My girl likes cats. Why the sime pelchen matia? A e pelchen we need a noun in third person singular. I pelchen ya lit tuai matia. Does your boy, your boy, your son, plural formal, does your son like cats? Like the cat. Does your son like the cat? A specific cat. I pelchen ya lit tuai matia. Muama pelchen to the toy. Let's change it to asai vaize. I'm using vaize a lot. Asai, let's see. Um, Matsie, that cat likes traveling. As I matsie, he will change the old toy. That's how matsie changes in the dative. What else? Me will change them so ship. I, let's say, I, he will change. So a ti touristi, he will change them so ship. That tourist like. Ati likes learning Albanian. Touristy. Um, okay. As a mua smua, asai pelchen libri. Let's change it to babai tim. My father. Babai tim pelchen libri. My father likes the book. Ai pelchen. Does your mother like the book? Ai pelchen. Nenes sate libri. Ai pelchen. Nenes sate libri. So sate. That's the dative. What else? Asai pelchenta de zoi. She likes reading. Uh, let's say, um, gruas i pelchenta de zoi. The woman likes reading. Let's change it to burit. Burit i pelchenta shkruai. The man likes writing. Etc. Let's take some other constructions. Let's do the verb to like. Madame Coca. Let's change it to, um, um, let's see, Matuesit. Poi them coca. So the teacher's head is hurting. Musuicid poi them coca. That is the teach female teacher's head hurting. I them coca musuices. That's a female teacher now. That is the head of female teachers hurting word by word. Okay, let's check another construction. Slide number nine. Another usage was with this here. So let's say. Grandfather is glad. Jushit, my grandfather. Jushit, Tim, Ivian Mir. My grandfather is glad to hear that. Glad to hear that good news. Jushit, Tim, Ivian Mir. In a question, it would be like this. Ivian Mir, Jushit, Tim, 
is your grandfather glad about this? Um, let's see. Mavi and Kedge, that's the opposite. I am sorry. Um, let's put it feminine. For example, my grandmother is sorry. Juches, Juches, Sime, Ivy and Kedge. My grandmother is sorry. But that also means my grandmother minds it. So it's a problem for her. She minds it. Here is how it be in a question. Does your grandmother mind it? I vien catch juches. I vien catch juches. Suai, if you want to be formal. Does your grandmother mind it? I vien catch juches suai. If I necessarily would. Tell me. If, it's, if I'm talking about my mum, could I say, mamit, see me? Yo. Okay, now that's a very rare my exception. Mom. Yes, that's true. That's a very, very rare exception that we have in Albania. Uh, there are two nouns like that, actually. The word for mother and uh, uncle. One moment, I'll write it here. So, what if I want uh, to say, mami, sime, no, 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 this is a, yes. No, not, ah. no, just not sime. You would say tim. Why tim? Ah. No reason is an exception. Mami, tim, i, pelchen, shikria. So that's a very rare... Uh, exception where it's a it's a mother so feminine but we use a masculine possessive pronoun that's because the word mommy it's masculine in grammar mir mommy timi pechan shipria um let's see you can also say mama sime this is feminine now it's a bit more formal mama sime i pechan tirana that's a bit formal but mommy is very used the previous one and what about if i said viera Viera yes, sime. Yes, Viera sime. Viera sime. We have. Vlora. 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 Shumia. Correct. Because what I wrote here is my grandmother is hungry. Okay, that's an example I wrote. So Viera sime had, for example. Okay. Ma vieni nat. That means um, I'm angry. I envy something. I'm angry about it. I envy it. I'm jealous about it. That's inat. Um, let's say, uh, shoches sime ivien inat. My female friend, she is uh, jealous about something or envious. Muama vien sor, I'm ashamed to do something. I'm shy, more like I'm shy, not really very ashamed. Um, for example, um, ati diali ivien zor. That boy is, um, is. <coughs> Shy to do something. Even Zorta is shy to, and then something. Uh, subjunctive move there. Muama Pavian Portaville. Here's a, a, a sentence. A patient pit. Vivian Portaville. The patient is about to throw up. So um, he's not throwing up right now, but it is that feeling of throwing up. Patient it, that's dative. The same with other ones. Let's just check some other constructions. Number 10, these were some verbs. We have the sentences ready there. Babai poile zoni libra asai. Here we have them perfectly asai. Let's put asai uh, vise. The father is reading a book to that girl. He's reading that girl a book in English. Asai vise. That is indefinite. If you want to say to his daughter, vises, vises, and then sati. Okay, we are in possessive pronouns here. So the father is reading a book to his daughter, to her. Neoprojige miature. We are answering them. We are giving answers to them, to them. The same as in English, to them. So neoprojige mi. Here is a noun in plural. Studenteve. We are answering the students. Neoprojige mi studenteve. That's plural. We'll talk more about it. We haven't talked at all about the plural of nouns. Uh, Okay, a tipo is on salata, he is enjoying the salad. So where is the dative here? He is in a ti um, um, clientit. Po is on salata, the client is enjoying the salad. Nukma I don't remember it. Uh, here we have the first person. Um, you can replace it with other persons, other nouns in the dative. Here, let's just check some other ones in the next slide, so slide number 11. Okay, for, for viewers from YouTube, uh, you can download this document. It, it will be in the description box of the video below. And thank you for following us from uh, outside on YouTube. Here, Elson is writing a letter to her in Albanian. 
Lenson, how would you change that sentence? Let's use something else in dative, not just aside to her. Let's change, let's put another pronoun, demonstrative or possessive. <laughs> okay. Uh, Any now. Elsoni po ish krua ni let. Shokut. Shokut. Wait. Tati. Perfect. Tati, yes. So, the ship in Albanian. Elson is writing a letter to his friend in Albanian. Shokut Tati. Un të kështu e të marsh atë buzin, also the next one, Lenson. Un të këshiloj... Un të këshiloj... I advise you to take the bus. So go ahead, I advise that girl, I advise that person, the man, the grandfather to take the bus. Aha, okay. Un të këshiloj... Not to anymore, because that is you. Directly, we And then, indefinite, dialit. Dialit, not definite. Ah, dialit, yeah. Dialit. Unë i këshulloj ati dialit marë atë budin. I advise that boy to take the bus. Të marë subjunctive after. And now, Kitty, the next one. Let's change that sentence. Po i dërgon një email, shoqes thime. Perfect, shumë mirë. Po i, correct, very well. What's the translation? Um, he is sending a mail to my friend, my Perfect. female friend. Very well, Shumir. So he is sending, or also you, you are sending, Poider Gonti. Yeah, also you. So you or he or she is sending an email to my female friend. Prinde, uh, this is plural. We'll talk about it in another lesson because we have a theorem. Nuki uh, Besoy Farati, I don't trust him at all. Um, Anna Taylor, how do you change that one? I don't trust, for example, my friend. I don't know any sentence like that. Nuk ki besoj shoqe... Are, that's all. Nuk ki besoj shoqe sfare. I don't... Shoqe sime, yes, if you want to say my friend, correct. I don't trust my friend at all. I hope she's not watching this lesson. Okay. Mir, so that's how we use the dative. That's how we use the pronouns. That was all about dative. No more, the nightmare is over. This is a very, very important lesson. Um, we use the dative a lot everywhere. Personally, I would say that the most important usage of dative, because I've heard it quite often, is what is shown on slide number 10 and 11. Those verbs and many, many others, those are used um, with the dative case. Okay? So pay attention uh, to those in particular. Mir, questions? I'm back here in case you missed me. <laughs> Any questions for me? Any no. words to translate? How did you find the dative case, Kitty? Difficult. <laughs> Difficult, but uh, did you compare it with Hungarian? <laughs> Maybe ours is more difficult, but it's natural for me. Not maybe, it is more difficult. Yeah, it's not difficult for you because you speak it, but... Uh, but um, English speakers... Um, <laughs> I'm sorry about this. <laughs> English, doesn't, English doesn't have most of, this, uh, most of these things. And uh, I don't know about Chinese speakers. Like it's, it's a, I, I don't know how to compare it. I it's just totally different. <laughs> yes, all those weak forms, dative. But you just learned the third case in Albanian. The next one will be genitive. So cheer up. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Mir. So this was today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for joining, and thank you for watching outside the lesson on YouTube. If you want to download the link, whatever we wrote there, uh, go to the description box. If you like this video, if you like the lesson, you can leave a comment below or you can write a random sentence in dative below in the comments. 
and I'll talk to you in the next lesson. I'll Make see you. Bye bye. Thank, Thank you for coming. Thank you. Bye. 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 B